was there any sort of weight loss or weight gain that uh, that uh, Deepika did while uh, you know that this? really wasn't the focus and there may have been some secondary results that that happened because of the program but our primary focus was on her performance so this is what she has to do let's bang out a program to help with her performance the weight loss the body and the physique those were all secondary benefits though nobody complained with the results that we got clearly the transformation spoke for itself but her performance was really the key part in all of this uh, by any chance do you feel that uh, she became slightly more flex uh, more muscular than what she was before yeah I, we saw benefits in you know in all aspects of improvement her endurance definitely improved um her agility her core strength overall there was a greater sense of well-being she certainly felt more charged she kept saying to me i feel like i have this like bounce in my step now um i feel more energized and i feel more um alert so all those things you know were were a benefit from everything that we did all right so uh, for for any any sort of fitness training any uh, it's very important that uh, the sort of uh, diet that you're having as well because that's i think equally important or maybe some 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 people say that more important than uh, anything else uh, what sort of diet was was deepika parukon having so when we talked about it i i really felt like she was pretty solid in her diet my main concern often is that the person's not eating enough and that wasn't the case and so I wouldn't say I needed to change or modify anything but the one thing that I really encouraged her to do was to start each day with lemon water and whether you work out or not it's really important because it helps metabolize the body it helps remove impurities it helps with recovery it gives you energy so one thing I introduced that she now does on a regular basis is start off her morning with about uh half of a lemon squeezed in a glass of warm water and then she continued to eat about 3 to 4 meals a day Okay and so what were those meals comprised of uh, did you emphasize so on every pro- meal proteins in or? general composed of a protein and a carbohydrate mm. I didn't want to restrict her in anything because I would, I needed to make sure that she had enough energy for what it is that she needed to do mm. and she sufficiently consumed enough calories not just for the workouts but for the long days on set so you can imagine like a typical day on set for some people can be 12 to 15 hours you need a lot of energy to sustain you know all of the work that you have to do it's it's a pretty long day and sometimes you're repeating scenes over and over and over again until the director really gets what he wants so you can't be calorie deficient and you can't be fatigued so it's really important that you're actually eating enough so i encouraged her to make sure that she was eating on regular intervals so what are the, what, what are the food items that she was taking because you know why i'm asking it is that um, uh, when you are in um, um, say india for example uh, obviously uh, you have different things available and um, Uh, when you're in Canada and you're living there for for some time, so obviously uh, there will be different things available over there as well. And I'm sure the climate definitely plays a part as well in terms of how uh, the, the training is and what sort of food that she should be having. Right. So again, we're training for performance, right? We're not necessarily training for weight loss. We're not necessarily training because we're trying to transform her physique. So the diet isn't necessarily as restrictive. It's to make sure that we're still supplying enough energy. So again, as long as that she was getting like a protein with every meal and a healthy carbohydrate. So some of the carbohydrates could come from rice or it could come from potatoes or it could come from breads. Um and proteins, she would come, she would have chicken, she would have fish. Um there were real no restrictions, even red meat. I just wanted to make sure that she was actually eating enough. So we didn't have to like specify which foods that she was getting, but as long as she was getting enough nutrients to sustain her her work schedule. 